The Young and the Restless Spoilers The return of Ian Ward, a nightmare rekindled for Mariah Genoa City, has always been a place of drama, secrets, and shocking revelations. But nothing could have prepared its residents for the resurgence of Ian Ward, a man whose dark legacy still haunts those he once manipulated. For Mariah Copeland, his return is not just a threat, but the reopening of deep emotional wounds she thought were long healed. The man who once controlled her life and stole her innocence is back. And this time, his obsession seems to revolve entirely around her. Mariah's past with Ian. The history of horror. Years ago, Mariah endured a living nightmare under Ian Ward's control. A master manipulator and dangerous cult leader, Ian took advantage of Mariah's vulnerability and groomed her into becoming a devoted follower of his twisted beliefs. He robbed her of her autonomy, forcing her to adopt the identity of a religious disciple in his cult, manipulating her emotions and isolating her from the outside world. When Ian was finally apprehended and taken into custody, Mariah thought she could begin a new chapter. She rebuilt her life with the support of her family and friends, gradually reclaiming her identity and sense of self. Her relationship with Tessa Porter and the arrival of their daughter, Aria, brought her a sense of joy and stability she had never experienced before. But Ian's reappearance threatens to undo all of that progress. Ian's obsession with Mariah. Ian's escape from custody has sent shockwaves through Genoa City, but for Mariah, it feels personal. As much as she tries to focus on her family and her daughter, a gnawing fear grows in the back of her mind. Ian is coming for her. That fear becomes a reality when Ian is spotted in Genoa City, confirming her worst nightmare. His obsession with her has not faded. While others speculate about Ian's motives, his search for a long-lost daughter, his thirst for revenge, or a deeper hidden agenda, Mariah knows the truth. Ian has always viewed her as his possession, someone he could mold and manipulate. His fixation isn't just about control, it's about reclaiming what he believes is his. Mariah's encounter with Ian. Fear resurfaces when Mariah finally comes face to face with Ian, the encounter is as terrifying as she imagined. The moment she sees him, her body freezes, and the memories of her time in the cult flood back in vivid detail. His voice, calm yet menacing, sends shivers down her spine. For a brief moment, Mariah's years of growth and healing seem to unravel leaving her feeling as powerless as she once was. I've missed you, Mariah, Ian says, his tone dripping with unsettling familiarity. You've become quite the woman, so much strength, yet still so fragile. Mariah tries to maintain her composure, but the weight of Ian's presence overwhelms her. Her knees buckle, and she collapses into tears, begging him to leave her and her family alone. Please, Ian, she pleads, her voice trembling. I'm not who I was. I have a daughter now. Arya is innocent. Don't drag her into this. Ian's expression softens, but it's not out of compassion. It's the calculated gaze of a predator who knows he has the upper hand. I'm not here to hurt Arya. He replies, She's a beautiful child, Mariah. I wouldn't harm her. But you and I have unfinished business. Ian's true intentions. Despite Ian's assurances, Mariah knows better than to trust him. His presence alone is a threat, and his motives remain shrouded in mystery. Is he here to reclaim control over her life, or is she simply a pawn in a larger scheme aimed at destabilizing the people of Genoa City? One thing becomes clear. Ian is not above using Arya as leverage to manipulate Mariah. While he insists he would never harm a child, his history of psychological manipulation and emotional abuse makes it impossible to take his words at face value. For Ian, control is everything, and Mariah's fear for her daughter is a weapon he can wield with precision. Mariah's desperation. A mother's plea. Mariah's maternal instincts kick into overdrive as she realizes Ian's fixation on her extends to her family. She breaks down, sobbing as she begs Ian to leave her alone. I'll do anything you want, she cries. Just don't hurt my daughter. But Ian isn't moved by her tears. Instead, he relishes the power he holds over her. The ability to reduce her to the vulnerable girl she once was. You're stronger than this, Mariah, he taunts. But you still have so much to learn. A narrow escape, chance intervenes. Just as Ian seems poised to take his manipulation to the next level, Detective Chance Chancellor arrives on the scene, having tracked Ian's movements through the city. Chance's presence breaks Ian's control over Mariah, and the cult leader momentarily loses his composure. Step away from her, Ian, 
Chance commands his gun drawn. This ends here. Ian, ever the cunning manipulator, raises his hands in mock surrender, a sly smile playing on his lips. I'm not here to hurt anyone, he says smoothly, but if you're so determined to take me in, let's see how far you're willing to go. Mariah seizes the opportunity to grab Arya and run, tears streaming down her face as she clutches her daughter tightly. Chance, meanwhile, keeps his focus on Ian, determined to end the threat once and for all. The Aftermath Healing and Uncertainty Though Ian is apprehended, the scars of the encounter remain for Mariah. The fear and trauma of her past have resurfaced, and she struggles to regain her sense of safety. Tessa becomes her rock, offering unwavering support as Mariah begins the difficult process of healing once again. For Mariah, the encounter serves as a reminder of her strength. Though Ian's return shook her to her core, she ultimately found the courage to protect her family and stand up to the man who once controlled her life. As for Ian, his motives remain unclear. While his obsession with Mariah appears to be his primary focus, whispers of his involvement in larger schemes, murders, manipulation, and the search for a mysterious daughter continue to circulate. His capture may provide temporary relief, but in Genoa City, nothing stays buried for long. Looking ahead, can Mariah truly escape her past? Mariah's encounter with Ian raises pressing questions about the nature of trauma and the power of resilience. Can she ever truly move on from her past, or will Ian's shadow linger over her life indefinitely? With Tessa, Arya, and her family by her side, Mariah has the support she needs to rebuild, but the path to healing is far from straightforward. Ian's presence in Genoa City is a stark reminder that the past has a way of resurfacing when least expected. As Mariah navigates the challenges ahead, she must confront not only her fear, but also the strength within her. A strength Ian could never take away.